the Pilgrims founded Plymouth Plantation in December 1620 and promptly commenced to get sick and die. When the settlers finally stopped croaking, they set about creating a heaven on earth, a society without private property, where all worked for the common good. Everything was shared, especially bitching and moaning about working for the common good. Let's let the colony's leader, William Bradford, tell it. This community, so far as it was, was found to breed much confusion and discontenty, and retard much employment that would have been to their benefit and comforty. For the young men that were most able and fitty for labor and service did repine that they should spend their time and strength to worky for other men's wives and children without any recompense. And it wasn't just the men folk who found the situation unbearable. And for men's wives to be commanded to do service for other men, as dressing their meaty, washing their clothes, etc., they deemed it a kind of slavery. Neither could many husbands well brook it. With nobody working, everybody was suffering. And in case you think nobody was working simply because they couldn't understand a damn thing Bradford was saying, chew on this. In 1623, Bradford and the other leaders assigned to every family a parcel of land. This had very good success, for it made all hands very industrious. So as much more corny was planted than other ways could have been by any means the gov or any other could use, and saved him a great deal all of trouble, and gave far our better contenty. In no time at all, any general or wanty of famine has not been among us them since to this day. America would never go hungry again. So this week, before you drift into your annual tryptophan-induced coma, don't forget to give thanks to the true patron of this holiday feast, Property Rights.